Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting, Michael. You know, I, I think a few elements. One is that probably the best bit of advice I got, uh, and I think is so true, is if you want to be a great lab director, your number one job is to recruit great people. And I think that uh, remains a huge challenge. And I think it's a huge challenge whether you're in a university or you're in a startup or you're in a venture firm or producing a podcast, is that there is a talent shortage out there. So we need, I think, to increase our uh, kind of recruiting lens and getting after a greater and diverse scheme. So I think recruiting is number one. Then it's a matter of when you bring them in, can you appropriately foster them? And I think one of my bigger challenges after the recruitment process is then how do you match the talent to the, 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 the talent and interest of a, of a young person to an actual project. And that's non-trivial. We rarely have ever are gonna have just the obvious next project in our lab. So we have to spend a lot of time. And then it's, how do you encourage that person to really be the best person they can be to take the risks, fail, because most of the time your really good ideas actually turn out not to be very good, but be comfortable with failing. And, how do you encourage leadership, which becomes a challenge, but working on a team? And that's become a more recent challenge is that the problems we're going after are incredibly complicated and very hard to tackle in singlets. That is, in one individual really can't do it. So you now have to create a team and in academia, credit is so important. It's now how do you appropriately distribute credit? So it's creating that comfortable environment where people can be their own selves, express themselves, encourage them to take risks, encourage them to fail, be innovative, and always focus on that high gain project, uh, keeping themselves to high standards, never settling, and, and keep pushing it. Now, from the entrepreneurship standpoint, it's really trying to identify the platforms, the multi-product platforms that can make a difference and to ensure, one, that there's a market that's addressable and with an unmet need that we can meet, and then two, really trying to then find the right business partners. I tell my young folks here at MIT that I wish it was different, but I, I see again and again, the success stories in these young startups that the technology is only about five to 10% of the story. And it's really the team, the business and the scientific team that's 85 to 90% of the story.